Well, hello everyone, it's Jordan Power here, and today's video is about the Bible Way to Heaven. Here is the Bible Way to Heaven. This is the 100% truth about how to get saved. It is extremely simple about how to get saved, and at the same time, the antinomians try to make it complicated as heck with a rebellious false gospel, infamously known as antinomianism. To get saved, all you have to do is to repent of your sins and trust alone in Jesus Christ, and the works are not required for your salvation. That's you, Acts 17, 30-31, John 3, 16 through 18, and Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. And the times of this ignorance God winks at, but now commandeth oh, all men everywhere to repent, because he hath appointed a day in the which he will judge the world in righteousness, by that man whom he hath ordained, whereof he hath given assurance unto all men, in that he hath raised him from the dead. Acts 17, 30-31 KJV For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. John 3.16-18 KJV For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9, KJV. To get saved, all you have to do is to repent of your sins and trust alone in Jesus Christ, and works are not required for your salvation. It is also important to believe in Jesus Christ, and if he repents of your sins, then you will also begin to believe in Jesus Christ, since repenting of your sins also includes repenting of the sin of unbelief. It is very important that we believe in Jesus Christ. Repenting of your sins is not a work, because it does not require any work to repent of your sins. The word repent comes from the Greek word metanoia, which means a change of mind. Since the word repent means a change of mind, repent of your sins means a change of mind towards sin, and you therefore turn away from your sins. The repent of your sins doctrine is an essential doctrine and is therefore a non-negotiable doctrine. And if any preacher preaches against the repent of your sins doctrine, then that preacher is a damnable heretic due to the denial of an essential doctrine. For example, Bruce Mejia is a damnable heretic because he denies the repent of your sins doctrine, which is an essential doctrine. The reason why we need to repent of our sins is that you cannot continue living in sin and still be saved. And because of this, antinomianism, aka easy believism, is a damnable heresy that is a repackaged. Oh, so antinomianism, aka easy believism, is a damnable heresy that is a repackaged version of the do what thou wilt heresy. Romans 6 and Matthew 7 completely dismantles the damnable heresy of antinomianism, aka easy believism. That's view of Romans 6, 1 through 2, and Matthew 7, 18 through 23. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Romans 6, 1 through 2, KJV. A good tree cannot bring forth e evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth Good fruit is honed down and cast into the fire, wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them. Not every one that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me. Ye that work iniquity. 
Matthew 7, 18 through 23, KJV. Romans 6 and Matthew 7 completely refutes the damnable heresy of antinomianism. All easy believism does is lead people to hell. And if an antinom and if an antinomian tries to teach you the damnable heresy of antinomianism, then you should either rebuke them or ignore them. And you should not accept to or until you should not accept what they are saying, because the antinomians are constantly trying to spread their damnable heresy of easy believism like a wildfire. And the antinomians are led by Satan or so the antinomians are led by Satan to do so. What's it what's it to do this kind of screwed up nonsense? Since Satan loves the damnable heresy of antinomianism. There is no biblical evidence for the damnable heresy of antinomianism and any evidence that or and any evidence presented for that rebellious false gospel is fabricated evidence that involves a twisting of scripture. There are also a heck ton of verses in the Bible that refutes the damnable heresy of antinomianism. Because of this, antinomianism, aka easy believism, is complete heresy and all and all the damnable heresy of antinomianism does Oh, here we go. Uh, uh, Alright, so because of this uh, oh, so so all the damnable heresy of antinomianism does is lead people to hell. In conclusion, the Bible way to heaven is that to get saved, all you have to do is to repent of your sins and trust alone in Jesus Christ, and the works are not required for your salvation. It is also true that you cannot lose your salvation, and if someone walks away from the faith, then they were never saved in the first place. The, the decision to accept Jesus Christ is urgent because... The next moment, that alone the next day, is never guaranteed. If you die in your sins, then you will end up in a very real thick of fire where there will be weeping, wailing, and gnashing of teeth. If you repent of your sins and trust alone in Jesus Christ, then you will be saved and you will get everlasting life in heaven after you die. Salvation is a free gift of God and Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day. Oh, please subscribe to my channel. Oh, and please share this video also. And share this video to many other people, especially those who are unsaved oh, and uh, professing Christians um, who are deceived. And goodbye.